Hey there everybody. Last week's video I went on a tirade about one of my other books here, Sleepy ABC. Um, go ahead and check out the link if you want to see last week's video. Um, I talked about basically all of the things that I found to be not great about that book. It's not like offensive or anything terrible. I just don't think that it is a good bedtime story. I think it has a lot to be desired. Um, and basically, this week I'm kind of going to elaborate on why um, by showing you a, an example of what I think is a fantastic bedtime story. And that's this one here, Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna Dudney, I think, is almost the perfect bedtime story. And here is why. First we're going to start with a straight reading. So, here we go. Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna Dudney, written and illustrated. Turn the page. Good job. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Turn. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. Bye-bye. You turn. <laughs> llama Llama Red Pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls down to his Llama Mama. Mama says she'll be up soon. Baby Llama hums a tune. <gasps> <laughs> Llama, llama, red pajama, waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby llama starts to fret. Llama, llama, red pajama, whimpers softly for his mama. Mama, llama, hears the phone. Baby llama starts to moan. Llama, llama, red pajama, listens quiet for his mama. What is mama llama doing? Baby llama starts mooing. You turn. Yeah. Yeah. You turn the page. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Llama, llama, red pajama, hollers loudly for his mama. Baby llama stumps and pouts. Baby llama jumps and shouts. Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. What if Mama Llama's gone? Llama Llama Red Pajama weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run! Oh no, oh no, is she coming? She goes, what's the matter? Are you okay? What do you think? Where's Mama Llama? Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes Mama's very busy. Please stop all this Llama drama and be patient for your Mama. Little Llama, don't you know? Mama Llama loves you so. Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. All right, let's finish. Here we go. Two more pages. Llama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles pillow soft and deep. Baby Llama goes to sleep. Good job. <laughs> the end. So the first thing that your bedtime story needs, it needs to rhyme. And as you just saw, everything rhymes fine. There's no like duplicate rhymes where words rhyming with themselves that kind of throw you off. Everything, there's no slant rhyme. Like everything rhymes great and that's important. The other thing that I think is really helpful specifically here is that um, you'll have some of these words, I don't know if you can see, are bolded. So it kind of, shows you, like it gives you the uh, the accent, like which words to sort of stress in a couple of cases, um, to sort of put emphasis on. And I think that's just a nice little touch that makes this book easy to read. So not only is it a good story for someone who already knows the story, but even the very first time you read through it, it's really easy to read it well. 
um, to read it out loud as a bedtime story. So not only is it good, but it's like easy, right? That's the whole book is, is great that way. Obviously, the next thing you want with a poem is you want the meter to match, and there's nothing in here that trips you up in that way. Every line is the same length as the one before it. It has great meter, but also all of the rhymes and the uh, the couplets are matched. So you've got like two, your couplet across the pages here, your couplet across two pages here. You've got two couplets across these two pages here, but it's always in pairs. There's only one place in this book where it's not, um, where a couplet is broken up, and that's at the very end, with the very last line, has its own page. I think that's just, it's cute that way, and I think that's formatted really well in a way that makes it easy to read the pages when you have your couplets grouped together like that. Now obviously art style is a very subjective thing. I personally think this is charming. I think it's important that the, uh, the artist and the writer are the same person because not only is it a cute art style but it really matches what you're reading really well. The facial expressions, they're very expressive llamas but their facial expressions match the way that you should be reading it. It makes it again really easy to read the very first time. You just match. You just match the faces to your own face and then you come up with the tone of voice that matches what you're talking about here. So a really great example of that is the climax of the book right here, where Llama Llama is terrified, he thinks his mother's abandoned him, he doesn't know where she's gone, and you've got these bright, wide open eyes, and if you do that, if you mirror that on your own face, you get the tone of the page really well, you're able to read it and express it in a way that conveys what's going on to little kids who are reading that emotion in you. Now obviously, again, story is going to be subjective. I personally think it's cute. I think it's relatable. I like that it doesn't um, encourage acting out. Some stories tend to sort of glorify, um, you know, acting out kind of behaviors. This is like, okay, look, we know, we acknowledge that it's scary to be in the dark. It's scary to go to sleep by yourself. Um, but the moral at the end, obviously, is, you know, mom's here. It's okay. Go to sleep. <laughs> Um, which is a good moral. I think it's a cute story and I think a nice touch for a bedtime story and I notice this a lot um, and it works well is at the very end the story ends with the child going to sleep. You see this over and over in bedtime stories but it allows you to sort of um, quiet down your voice as you're reading and it sort of calms down the child I think as you're reading to them and gets them ready for bed themselves so that's always good. There's only one page in here that I find, not that it's bad, um, but it's, the weak point is uh, this page here. It has, this is immediately after our, you know, climactic, you know, he's terrified, he shouts for mama, great art, and then you have this spread, which has no words on it. Um, you've got, you know, very clearly a progression here. Mom's, you know, throwing the phone down, running up the stairs, you know, worried that Llama Llama's hurt or something. Um, and you can see that all in the art, in the expressions on her face, which is great. But the problem when you're reading this out loud is that you've got to give, like, the do to each spread, but there's nothing to read here. So you kind of have to stop reading the poem to sort of improvise. Um, and I usually will, you know, comment, you know, so the sort of things that maybe Mama Llama would be saying or thinking as she's running up the stairs to kind of have something to say on this page. Um, you know, sometimes it's just like, a, oh no, but you don't want to just go silent. Like, there's high tension in these art, so obviously you have to maintain that level of emotion in what you're saying, um, you know, quote-unquote reading. Um, and so this page is just a little bit difficult compared to everywhere else in the book where you've got, you know, great emphasis in the words, the, the art makes it easy to read, um, but then on that one page you have to sort of come up with it on your own and tell the story yourself instead of reading it. So that's the only weak point I would say, but other than that I find Llama Llama Red Pajama to be the perfect bedtime story, and I think that if you are looking for a uh, a book for like a, 
baby shower or something. Can't go wrong. It's classic. I have not checked out the Netflix series. I've heard it's, you know, not great, but who knows. And, um, but we have read a couple of the other Llama Llama books. They're cute too. They also rhyme. Um, but you know, they don't, they don't hold a candle to the classic original. So check it out. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions, I think I kind of want to make a series of these, um, children's book reviews, bedtime book reviews. If you have any suggestions for books that you think are particularly good or particularly terrible, um, let me know and I will track those down and I would love to give you my opinion. And uh, we'll, we'll do a few more of these and see what you guys think, because I think it's kind of funny. And you know, if you're reading the same books over and over again, you may as well think about them a little bit. So, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Subscribe so you don't miss my videos. I post on Thursdays and on Sundays. And we'll see you in the next one, okay? Can you say bye-bye?